Oh, let's just talk about medical. Uh, Luca's probable right knee sprain. Uh, Maxi's out. Uh, Hardaway's available. Omax is out. And Fudge is out. Congratulations on the contract. Thanks. Tell us a little bit about it. Then. Yeah, uh, I got a new deal. That's about it. Uh, <laughs> I'm very thankful for uh, Patrick and uh, Nico and uh, to be able to uh, have a new deal uh, going forward. Um, truly believe, you know, Patrick and Nico are, are building a championship team, and I'm happy to be a part of it. What does that mean to you that they saw the, the job that you've done and they appreciate it and they rewarded you accordingly? Yeah, it means a lot. Um, the the work uh, that, you know, the coaching staff and the players are putting in, um, you know, means a lot and uh, and hopefully they saw that. And, uh, you know, through the, through the good and through the stuff that we had to get better at, um, you know, we're, this is work in progress. Uh, this is a, a very talented team. Um, and so uh, to be a part of it, I'm, I'm very blessed. Over the past three years, what are you proud that you've instilled in, in, in this team? Uh, probably just the, you know, calmness, uh, you know, development and, uh, you know, on and off the floor. Um, a winning mindset, uh, just you know those those couple things probably. You you said calmness. It was a kind of a chaotic ending last year. How do you think that your character traits kind of helped you and the club get through that and, and get to this point here? Yeah, I think uh, last year we learned a lot about character, um, about the team. Um, there was a couple pivots there that late in the season. And um, it, it turned out to be, you know, the right thing. Um, at the time, um, everyone had their opinion, but you know, understanding what the plan is uh, internally, I thought we executed the plan, and uh, and we were thankful to get Omax and, and Lively, you know, out of that plan. So, um, but being calm and not, you know, what others say. Uh, turned out to be the right thing. Coach, with this contract, what's your message to Mavericks fans now that this comes to fruition? Yeah, I think we're, we're trying to win a championship. And so, uh, you know, we have an opportunity. We're playing a very talented team in Oklahoma City. Uh, but uh, understanding that the foundation is being built and, uh, you know, our, our ultimate goal is to win a championship. And hopefully we can do that here in the next three years. And you're prepared for a guy like Shea Gilgis Alexander. I know um, defensively in the Clipper series, you had Derrick Jones Jr. on Paul George. Do you see a similar effect that he can have, I guess, on that end, facing their top perimeter player? Yeah, Shea's more, he's in, you know, up for MVP. Um, he's one of the best young players in this league, and so he puts a lot of pressure on your defense, and everyone's going to get a chance to guard him. Uh, just understand we're coming out of a series uh, with Paul George and Harden uh, who can, you know, flat out score the ball. So hopefully we can have some carryover uh, from the defensive side uh, to just try to make it tough on on uh, on Shea and those guys. Uh, they're going to make tough shots. Uh, our, our theory is to try to make them take tough shots and hopefully that we can uh, get them to miss them. All the uh, old guard superstars have been sent home except for one. What, what's the value that Kyrie brings with his experience to this team? Uh, yeah, I think wisdom and experience, uh, you know, understanding what it means this time of the year. Uh, again, there's no panic. There's calmness. Uh, he's uh, under control. Uh, his tone when he speaks to the team uh, is confident. And so uh, it's great to have someone like that uh, in, in your locker room this time of the year. What's the, What's the challenge with Chet on both ends of the floor for you guys? Yeah, Chet uh, can step out and shoot the three. He can put it on the floor. Uh, he can finish. He can shoot, you know, so uh, and also pass. He has a total package. And then defensively, you, you got to account for him. He's going to, if he's at the rim, he has a great chance of blocking the shot or changing the shot. So understand when uh, you're going to try to challenge him, he, he wins most of those battles. So, uh, again, he can change the game on the defensive end and on the offensive end. Jason, you, you guys definitely got bigger after the, the trade deadline, but, but even since the trade deadline, offensive rebounding isn't something that 
um, you, you guys, your stats were way up in, in the league about. It, it, do you feel like that's a strength, especially going against a team that's that's chosen to to field a smaller lineup? Do you think it's something that that for certain matchups and situations you you guys are able to turn on as as a weapon for you? Yeah, at this time of year, if you can get second or third opportunities, that that helps. Uh, you know, and we're going to need that uh, against Oklahoma City uh, is to be able to get second or third opportunities. Just understanding uh, they can be small at times, so uh, our bigs uh, and our our smalls. Uh, have to try to get you know offensive rebounds to give us a second or third opportunity if if we want to win this series. We talked about Kyrie's experience, um, but how much will experience overall play a factor in the series, especially with OKC being so young? What was that? I didn't I didn't hear the first part. What was that? We talked about Kyrie's experience yeah. individually, but how much will experience play overall? Yeah, ex experience uh, comes into play if you if you put in that situation. Uh, uh, everybody's going to talk about their young team. Uh, but it's basketball. They know how to play. They're the number one uh, team in the West. Uh, they have Coach of the Year and Mark. And so, uh, understanding they've been experienced, they've been through, they've they've been together for some time now. So, uh, just understanding uh, until you can put them into a experienced situation, uh, they're going to play basketball. They're going to play the way that they've been playing all season. So, our job is to try to hopefully uh, put them in a, a, a position. That experience does come to play, comes into play. Jason, no one knows your career like as well as you do. But when you have moments with a contract extension, do you give yourself time to reflect on how you, how far you've gotten? Yeah, I don't have no. I don't have, after the season maybe. Okay. And and then and then there's always stuff to do after the season. So, uh, again, uh, I'm I'm very uh, humble and thankful for this opportunity with the Mavs. Uh, to uh, try to win a championship. But again, like I told the players this morning, uh, I thank them for this opportunity because it's them that helped uh, get this deal. Um, the development, um, being able to win, um, and then also having the opportunity to win a championship. So I'm very thankful for that. What do you think makes Lou Dort a good defender? Uh, he plays hard at all times. Dort is uh, he's one that's gonna compete um, when he's on the floor. Um, that's how he came in the league, and that's how you know he's still playing. And he's probably gonna, uh, until he leaves the league, he's gonna play hard. And so he understands uh, his defense has has caused a problem in this league. Uh, he plays hard for uh, the time that he's out on the floor. Uh, he knows no other way, so he causes a problem on the defensive end. Losing Maxi, but getting hopefully getting Tim back. What? How do you kind of view that and on the personnel front and how important is Tim to try to step in there with Maxie out? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, unfortunate to lose Maxie. Maxie was playing well uh, for us uh, defensively and offensively. Uh, I think he was our best three-point shooter. Um, but looking at uh, getting Timmy back is, is a good thing. and We're going to need Timmy uh, coming off the bench to be able to give us some offense, but also his experience of being in the playoffs uh, is going to come into play and we're going to need that experience on the floor especially here with the first two games on the road coach speaking yeah. of tim how would you say he and luke have progressed from an injury standpoint over the past few days uh, they've been great they look great um they look like they're ready to go